The number of COVID tests will jump starting tomorrow when the health department will begin including antigen results. Up until now, PCR results have been reported in the official daily numbers. Those tests use genetic material to find active infections. But many clinics have also been doing antigen tests that give quick results. And the health department says those positives will now be considered probable cases. The antigen tests are also different from antibody tests, which only find out if you already had COVID, not if you're currently infected. Site at the state veterans home in Hilo. This as an eighth death was reported at the facility where 58 residents and 18 employees have tested positive for COVID. Sarah Madison explains the crisis at the center is setting off alarms. In a letter to the Department of Veterans Affairs and to Governor David Ige over the weekend, Senator Brian Schatz raises concerns about the handling of the outbreak and calls for immediate federal intervention. As of Monday, 58 residents have tested positive out of the 74 who currently live at the facility. That's more than half who got COVID. Senator Schatz tells us he does not feel confident the situation is under control. While they are trying to increase staffing and separate COVID positive residents, they should use infection prevention specialists from Veterans Affairs and mobilize all of the state government to get this home the expertise and materials they need. The state says the veteran's home, in coordination with state officials and a federal expert from the CDC, has been assessing, evaluating and conducting ongoing control and prevention measures at the facility. Officials are also conducting PCR testing every three to five days, while additional oversight measures are being considered. Schatz also believes the state and county have been too slow to respond to the crisis, a comment that angered Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim. The Hawaii Health Systems Corporation welcomes additional support. Avalon Healthcare, the home's managing company, says it's working tirelessly to protect the residents. And there's reason for optimism, with 14 residents recovering, and it hopes to see more. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. In an effort to prevent a COVID outbreak at the Westlock Elderly Village in Eva Beach, the city held a testing event for residents there today. That's after two people who were living there recently tested positive. The city's infectious disease officer, Dr. Jill Omori, ran the testing with the help of students from the UH School of Medicine.